My name is Michael, and I'm wheeling and healing the Hungry Horse Reservoir in Montana. I'm in the middle of having myself a good little cry right now. I'm not even sure why. Day two official at Hungry Horse. 44 seconds and I uh, opened my phone right at 111. This happens. It's hardly like there's a lot of thoughts going through my mind, but they're not really the storylines that usually like activate emotions for me or crying, you know. I just feel emotions coming up and, um, bopping back and forth between feeling out of place and not sure where I'm supposed to be. And, um, and also feeling right at home here. I was able to move up into a better 222. I was able to move up into a better campsite further away from the lake but I'm right next to this creek got a walkway right down to it to get water I'm grateful set up my hummingbird feeder and I set it up yesterday but um, actually I set it up first night I got here but I didn't see any at it yesterday. I, but this morning I saw some. Uh, I don't know if they like where I have it now. I don't have my awning set up. And that's where I had it hanging from. And now there's no branches that are strong enough and low enough near me to hang it from a tree. So I'm hanging it from my, the back of my footstool now and it's kind of low to the ground and I saw one checking it out a little bit ago but I'm not sure if they like where it's at. There's a lot of butterflies here. I just got the sink pulled out. Three, four, five. I just got the sink pulled out this morning and um, there's a lot of mold. <laughs> I don't know if I talked yesterday about that or if it was, if, it, if I discovered it after I did the video for the day, but um, I was, I took out my water container yesterday afternoon or evening and I had these to this towel underneath my jerry cans for like overflow and just like if there's any spillage so it hit the towel and not not the wood and um, I it's my fault I I didn't think about it I should have been checking the towel I should have just been checking it regularly to see if there was sound like a motor vehicle it definitely is, but um, they're not coming up this road. It was more condensation than anything. This this night, 
day, night, day, warm, cold, warm, cold, and like making the containers with water have condensation. And because I wasn't checking it, it seeped the towel completely damp and it just got crazy moldy underneath it on the wood. At least it was contained in the sink thing. It's like a little cabinet that um, it didn't affect like the van itself. It was all contained in a, a wood cabinet thing. But still, no more sink now. I could I could set it back up, but I I actually realized I did, I'm not using it that much, and I'm more I've been more scared to use it because of making a mess with water. And so there's always there's always so many other ways. Um, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna get rid of the sink. I might sell it or give it away to somebody that might want it with one of the jerry cans that has the hole cut in it for the tube, the pipe. But I'm gonna keep the other jerry can for myself and just always keep that full of water in the van and almost anywhere I go I can get water. I'm already second guessing myself on how long I'm gonna be staying up here at this lake and if I'm even gonna do a full loop around it or not. <laughs> I have no ambition to like, yesterday and today, just no ambition to even really go explore the lake yet I haven't even thought about getting the kayak out and inflating it yet I want to read I got a couple books that I got a few books now but a couple new books and I really want to start reading and there's little cluttered messes now in the van and I need to at those because every time I think about wanting to read or wanting to do anything all I do is look at those and then think that I have something else that I need to do first and I try to start getting the clutter and I it's just been a weird morning and um just gotta trust that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing and I'm at where I'm supposed to be at. I don't know where else to go. I definitely don't feel like being around anybody right now. Although I am considering um, planting down and making a home base again. Maybe in Idaho so I have people around nearby if I need if I need to reach out but I feel like I'm so torn because I feel like I'm still supposed to be on my quest on my alone time and I know that that's not always alone sometimes people are going to be brought into my path and I'm going to be brought into theirs for different reasons but right now I'm not ready to be social I'm not ready to be integrated back into like society and <laughs> I've been a ghost these last few years I don't even know who I'm trying to kid who, what I'm trying to I can't say that completely because there are moments these last few years, more in the last year or two, that that when I'm interacting with people, I do get this feeling of like success or like satisfaction. But usually it's not the case. I like those are from like wholesome conversations and stuff that I can really like 
if it's healing or something to learn from or like something that I'm really able to contribute and like I guess that's how I'm gauging it off of is how much I'm able to help someone else or how much they're able to help me right now on my path and I hate to think that because it makes me feel like needy or selfish or like but I don't know I don't I don't know I don't I'm figuring my new self out I've been going through this freaking spiritual awakening for several years now since 2014 or 2015 and ever since then when it first felt like I opened up to color in the Wizard of Oz it's been slowly 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 peeling layers away of this old self and discovering my new it's not it's not new it's just new to me because it's been cluttered covered up by false selves my whole life and now that's that's what it is I mean I cry I cry like this morning there's no apparent reason for me to be crying and I just cry and I it's a moment right now that I'm really feeling stuck inside of myself and um I don't know what to talk about right now. I want to go for a walk. I want to read some book. I want to exercise. I want to clean up the clutter in my van and I just can't seem to get myself to take the first step of anything, doing anything right now. Maybe this is exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know what the purpose of this really is right now. Sometimes I wonder why I even have a freaking YouTube. I think there's like two people that watch it. And, um, uh, it's whatever. Just feeling lost, lost and lonely. Lonely, but not wanting to be around anyone. Lost, but not wanting to be found. <laughs> Stuck, but not wanting to move. <sighs> Wheeling and healing. Michael, official day two. Hungry Horse Reservoir. I'm already going through it. <laughs> Infinite love and blessings for you all, whoever whoever watches these. <laughs> or if nobody watches, then hello to blank internet space. <laughs> and hello to you. Hi, Michael. <laughs> this is who it's for. It's for me. Until next time. <laughs>